All right, so if you've got the distributor in the right notch and the compression stroke on number one, the motor will start in exactly one second. Oh, God. <laughs> if you've got the distributor 180 off, it'll go poof, bang, and flames will come out of the car. I don't think we have 180 off. So far, so good. I don't hear any rattling from the valves. Wow. Yeah. Uh, 1934. 1934 horsepower. Why would I want to be that? That's the biggest, the high, highest horsepower he's ever done. Oh, jeez. So am I, am I 10,000, 125, or 20, 126? 126. Okay. Thank you for reminding me. Some people like to take a picture. Look, look, he's trying it. <laughs> and it's on your dyno sheet, too. See? That's fair. It's like... Well, you know, it starts up the, the YouTube videos as dyno one, uh, 126. Cool. Revolution counter here, upper left hand corner. Uh, yeah, 54. That gets to 33,000, that screen will turn green and that'll be 15 minutes. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, it sounds meatier than my old setup, so. So, what do you say the compression ratio is? Uh, according to them, it's 9.7. I mean, I think it's on the Gwiki. Uh, Well, he was going by, I guess he went with 9.5, but okay. I don't know if it helps or hit or does more than anything else. Well, you must feel that the flex plate's okay. Well, I said that flex plate was normal. Huh? You said that, you said that was normal. Oh, okay. I don't exactly know what that all means, per se. Normal, I know what normal means, but... This whole dyno process, I think it's cool. Yeah. Play on scans of money I may have won. Just to play with it. I just leave the same motor on it all the time. I just go out and run it every now. <laughs> hey, uh, John, can you dyno my motor for me? Yeah, no, I got a small nope. lock up there nope. right now. Nope, I'm, I'm done, done. Any, anybody set mine? Yeah, I got one set up on there right now. I can't. Why would you even need a dyno? Just get an engine that runs off the side of your house. No, because it'd be fun to, you know, play oh, with it. Okay. So the first thing we'll do is what's called a cruise test. We'll see how this okay. carburetor uh, works. Uh, okay. Whatever. Cruise test. Flywheel is so light when the load comes in and I back out of the throttle at the same time you shut the engine. <laughs> so I saw 382, so I, that yep. means that means four, we got a shot at 400. Yeah. 
Three. All right. So torque, three eighty five, and real broad on the torque, eighty eight, nice. one eighty two. There's the torque right there. That's oh, good, right? Nice. Yeah. yeah. There's the horsepower, so it's still going up. Sweet. All right. So oil pressure, fifty eight pounds. Looks good. Vacuum 0 0.7, I gotta double that, so it'd be 1.4 inches of the vacuum, so we're, uh, we're looking okay, so we'll good. put a 5800 on this one. Do you know what the, you know, getting, you do? optimizing the combination, yeah. So the, the Performer RPM cam in the small block and the big block Chevy work really good, so. Do they? Yeah, I wonder if I should switch to something like that. I've got a really mild, well, I don't have Performer RPM heads, though. I've got the, uh, the E Street heads, so. What, what kind of more? Small block show. I've just got a, I've got a Summit uh, 1103 cam in it. Well, the Performer RPM cam, what we like about it is it's the only hydraulic cam that'll go right to 6,500 without a deterioration of the curve. It makes peak power yeah. more about 58 or 59, but it'll go to 6,500. Yeah. You know, well, see, I don't really, they, they, they said on those E Street heads, you should limit it to 5,000 RPM and under 500 lift. All right. Because it doesn't have the valve springs for it. All right, so we're gonna go to 5,800. And it basically I, wasn't changing. And, nice. and that's good, right? That's oh, very yeah. good. Yeah, okay. that is. Ran up to six and it's still climbing. Jeez, 394, 96, 97. It's still I think he might have sold that Lincoln. Well, like I say, the Lincoln. You know, started working on it. Bill's job is to do the other I did, I did too. I did too. <laughs> Point eight. But <laughs> I saw all kinds of 390 torque numbers, so it liked the timing. Jeez. Look at here. 91, 92, 92, 91, 91, 91, 92, 93, 93, 93, 92, 90. Wow. That is really impressive. It, it really is. Yeah. Look at there. Wow. Oh, man, oh, man. So when you order a torque converter, that's the question mark. Says, yeah. Uh, so where's peak torque? You say, well, anywhere from 3,800 to <laughs> No, where's peak yeah. torque? 3,800, <laughs> yeah. You pick. You pick. <laughs> well, well what, are we, what are we thinking on this one? Well, we're going to see what this spacer does. This should uh, be an interesting test. The head stick a little bit better. That thing sounds great with those headers on there. <laughs> They'll sound more mellow with the, the manifolds. Yeah. Quieter. Three horsepower, two and a half. 
half horsepower more. Mm -hmm. 